how's your mom doing with the divorce and everything? Great. So my dad left her for another man. She's lost 15 pounds, got an eye lift. It's been good for her. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I could tell. Since you didn't call or write the entire time it was happening. Well, no, it's just, you know, boarding school. I don't even know why you went to boarding school to begin with. Do you know how it felt? Calling your house after you didn't turn up for school? And having your mom say, Serena didn't tell you that she moved to Connecticut? I just, I had to go. I had to get away from everything. Please just trust me. How can I trust you? I feel like I don't even know you. Well, I saw you at school with Connie and Iz and I get it. I don't want to take any of that away from you. <laughs> because it's just yours to take if you want it? No, that's not what I mean. It's just, I, I wish things could go back to the way they used to be. Night swimming at your mum's country house. You're like my sister. Well, you did miss some classic Eleanor Waldorf meltdowns. If it wasn't such a tragedy, it would have been funny. Well, I wish I could have been there. You are now. I love you, B. I love you too, S. Escort, hooker, prostitute, whore. I don't care what you call me. That's just semantics. There are as many different kinds of working girls as there are kinds of people, so you can't generalize. But I can tell you about me. I should say up front that I wasn't abused by a relative, I've got no children to support, and I've never been addicted to anything. Well, except maybe the fourth season of The West Wing. But you know. I'm very high class, which means I charge a lot. So, why do I do it? Well, I love sex. And I love money. And I know you think I don't enjoy the sex. But I do. Plus I'm fundamentally lazy. What I really like though is being my own boss. Obviously I have an agent who books all my clients. But, I have certain rules. Rule one, Keep life and work separate. Oh, and most importantly, get the money first. Why haven't you reported the incident before now? He's rich. He's famous. Why would anyone believe a normal person like me? We believe you, Julia. But you need to explain exactly what happened. He said he was going to give me tickets to his concert. He said they were in his room. The suite was where the Prime Minister stayed. He said I would get a kick out of seeing it. I wanted the tickets for my brother. I was trying to do something nice. So I followed him. And when you got up there? He said he would go find the tickets. As he did, I went to use the bathroom. When I came out, he was naked. He threw me down on the bed, pulled up my skirt, You know what happens next. You're helpless. You shut your eyes and wish it to be over. When he was done, he lit a cigarette. Told me I could find cab fare in his jeans pocket. Why didn't you scream? Try and run out. Pick up the phone. I was numb. 
I guess. He could have had any woman that he wanted. Why did he do this to me? 